what's happening, man? This is Da Vinci, Thoroughbred, Sweet Breast Creative Collective all day, Field Motor NY, chilling with my folks at hiphopatlunch.com. Yo. This is Hip Hop at Lunch. We're here with Da Vinci. How's it going, man? Hey, what's happening, man? It's Da Vinci. I'm here in NY. We're in Manhattan, to be exact, right now. You feel me? Came all the way out here from San Francisco Bay Area. Feel more, to be exact. Chilling with my niggas at hip hop lunch, hip -hop at lunch com. That's what's up, man. Yeah, film mode at NYC, dude. Straight up, man. So the day that Turf stood still, underrated project, maybe one of the most underrated of the whole year, how good it is and what the reaction's been. Yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit like about the title and the album artwork right. and how it all came about. Uh, man, the title basically came after kind of like we dipped into the album halfway. Kind of, you know, we was thinking like, man, this album is kind of a good representation what's going on in my hood right now, you know what I'm saying? And not just in my hood, and a lot of other hoods around the world. So I was just trying to come up with a title that would draw people in and make people and, and, and make people understand that it's something drastic, you know what I mean? And I obviously got it off the uh, movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Film was my turf, you know what I'm saying? So I changed it to The Day the Turf Stood Still. And it's basically just trying to focus on how the neighborhood has changed and, and, and the actual moment that I realized that it changed, you feel me, that day. So that's what it's about. Artwork, shout out to my dude, Mike Gillard. He out there in, uh, in Canada, he hooked up the artwork. You know, he got his own catalog. He's been doing it for years. And uh, basically, it was just something that everybody, we built relationships over the years. I've been knowing, you know what I'm saying, the people that we did this album with for like the last 10 years, and we just put together mutual friends, and everybody came together and had their part on, on the album, from the production to me doing the lyrics to the artwork, like you said, uh, to to the, all the blog support, you know what I'm saying, all the, all the club supports that we've been getting, and, you know, it's just, it's, it's been building real organic. you know what I mean? What's up, man? Yeah, it's real cohesive, you know, you guys all working right. together telling your story, right. you no know, right. features right. on it, all that. I wanted to touch on some of the tracks, like, your thought process. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about what you finna do. I used some quotes at the beginning, middle, end of the track, like, are those from a movie, or what is that from? Oh, that's from, like, this documentary that was on uh, PBS. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's called The Fillmore. It was actually about the gentrification in Fillmore, you know what I'm saying? So it was pretty easy to draw something from there because that's what the whole documentary was about and that's what my album was about, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was just basically a little excerpt we're talking about, you know, if you ain't got the money, you can't live here, you know what I mean? If somebody's saying that, it's not about what color you is, it's not about black, white, Asian or nothing like that, it's about money, man, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to change the face of the hood. And they're they building big condos and townhouses and, and lofts and, stuff and shit like that, which is good, you know what I'm saying? But as you can see, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's cats like me who's born and raised in, in those situations that has been affected, like, a lot, you know what I mean? And I'm, it's, the story is just really about me adapting to it, you feel me? Right, and one of the lyrics that uh, stood out real hard was, down the corner of the street used to be the spot to yeah, replace all liquor stores. All the liquor stores, the coffee shops, right, right, Not right. a bad thing, but where you finna hustle at? Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, because the corner store has just really, like, always been, the corner store from the barbershop always been, like, a place where black people congregate, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whether it was hustling, whether we just come together, you know what I'm saying, and talk about what was going on, the politics of the hood and shit like that. Now there's coffee shops where we used to congregate at, we gotta move elsewhere. Maybe we gotta go up the street or down the block. You know what I'm saying? And you know that that may cause problems within hood politics, depending on you know what I mean what type of neighborhood you live in. But in my neighborhood, in Filmo, shit is real close together. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I mean, that's just one line that stuck out, man. Right. You know, but that's the, the uh, name of that song is what you're gonna do. And if you listen to it from the beginning to the end, you'll get a gist of pretty much what the album is talking about. Definitely. Another track, uh, Aristocrat, you know, another sick sample. A lot of the samples were real sick on the whole project. The line that stood out was a uh, 96 Jigga Streets was watching, 12 years later, now Streets is blogging. Right, right. Same shit, just, you know, yeah. backwards and everything. Yeah, talk shit, hide like, behind using names and past. Something like, was in your mind when you were writing nah, that? Nah, that, wasn't, that wasn't nothing, like, I wasn't directed at nobody. I didn't really, <laughs> at the time I wrote it, I didn't know no blogs or nothing right. like that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just was feeling like, in a new tech, the new age of technology, you know what I'm saying? People who were talking shit on the streets are now talking shit on the internet. Right. You know yeah, what it was mean? a funny. It was a funny quote. I did rewrite the track. Like, <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, and now it's even easier to, to be a critic or a comedian because you can hide behind, you know, an avatar. You know what I mean? Nobody ever know who you is. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of talking about the range of how shit changed over the years, and that was one of the lines that 
that stuck out. I knew people, if it was going to get on the web, that some people might ruffle a few feathers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some people will agree with it, laugh at it, but you can't say it's not the truth, though. Right. No matter how you feel about it, you feel me? Right, no, it definitely is. So I want to talk about Ben. It's one of my personal favorite tracks. Right, me too. You know, and at the beginning with the sample, and you say it's dedicated to someone close to your heart. Right. You throw in Ben Franklin. <laughs> it's like, right. God, damn, I didn't see it coming, man. Yeah, man, you know, because, I mean, I just really, I came up with that concept to basically let people get an idea of my relationship with money, how, it, how I came into uh, just making money on my own as a young man, you know what I'm saying, up until an older uh, even young, uh, older man, I should say now, an uh, uh, adult, you feel me? Right. And I mean, it just really came down to, uh, you know, me giving the Ben the money a personality and show that, because I knew a lot of people could probably relate to it, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like I gave the money personality, gave it a name, Benjamin Franklin. Just talked about my relationship with it. It's kind of love, hate, big brother, little brother yeah. type of relationship, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the personification was crazy, man. It's yeah, like, is he talking about a person or money? Like, it gets confusing almost. It's so it good. Is, it is. It is confusing. <laughs> a lot of people still, like, it's a, you got to sink in before you can even realize that I'm talking about two things at the same time. You feel me? Right. I always wanted to do a song like that. You know what I mean? I've been inspired by songs like, like Nas. Uh, I gave you power when he's talking about a gun. I got inspired by Tupac, me and my girlfriend. You know, songs like right. that always. As a young and I always thought that shit was dope talking about two or three different things at, the t at once, you know what I mean? So that's, that's how the, uh, what's the name? Ben came together, straight up. Hell yeah, so before we go, like gentrification was the whole theme. I know you're working on a new album. Is it going to have an overall theme like that again? It is going to have an overall theme, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be gentrification. I'm going to leave that one with my first album, The Day the Turf Stood Still. We're going to be a little bit more progressive with this one. And you know, I mean, I'm not, I can't, we're going to leak some songs soon. I, I still feel like it's still early to, to uh, talk about the song. So right. about, I mean, the album, we only about maybe 65% done with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be hitting the streets and the web and all that shit soon. Though. 